Pounded by Gary Ward of Georgia. He's one of your own and watch this now on takeoff. Already he's flying aerobatics to shake the airplane out. He's upside down making sure everything is right. He pushes negative G's. What that means is he's reintroduced to breakfast and lunch. All the fluids in his body want to come up into his head as he pushes over again in the negative G's. Already now building up the energy he needs to intensify his aerobatics. The airplane is light and very highly powered. All sorts of high power action with a horsepower engine and about 1,500 pounds of airplane. Lots of composite materials keep it light and that big light foaming engine to give him all the extra horsepower to push over again. Zero G as he goes outside and those uncomfortable negative Gs where the fluids again want to go into your head at times. Gary will be seeing big... Rolling that airplane and pulling some hard Gs, nine Gs in the turnaround right now. That's a lot of weight on his body. His body weight has just increased nine times. Six more, seven more as he goes into the vertical. All that power takes him way up even though he's doing these inputs to gyroscopically turn and fight gravity and actually keep rolling as he flies and slides backwards out through the smoke. Now he's got to flip the airplane over. He's got to start flying again because he's falling. And now with just the right amount of space between him and the ground, he pulls heavy G's again and turns the airplane completely around. Well over 200 miles an hour, loading five, six, seven G's, tightening it up now, eight, around, he now snaps the airplane around and around and around, three times on the top, and then finishes the loop on the other side. That's managing energy. Gary again with heavy G's in the turnaround. And he continues now to roll on a 45 degree line precisely to pull some more heavy G's away. You can feel that now just by watching. Know that the force of gravity is pushing him down into the cockpit. His body weight increasing nine times as once again he climbs to the very top, this time with the smoke off, so you can see what happens as he dances on the controls, flips the airplane over, and then inverted flies out, pushing negative G. The force of gravity trying to push him out of the cockpit as he pushes forward more negative Gs. Three, four negative Gs up over the top and all the way around in a tight negative loop. Unbelievable, and does this ever speak to his physical capacity. He is in top shape to be able to do these kinds of maneuvers. Precisely four times he stops real close to the ground, pulls another seven, eight G's up into the vertical, Takes over 250 miles an hour, transitions near the end to push around and upside down again. More negative G's, a little breakfast, a little lunch, a little bile. Very uncomfortable negative G's. And then he tumbles the airplane end over end. You're not seeing anything. See it, thanks, folks. He did that twice. Two somersaults with the airplane, and that's the incredible abilities of this purpose-built MX-2. Combined with Gary's talent and how to fly and his physical fitness, he can do some amazing things with this airplane.
Now our aerobatic pilots always trade altitude for energy. So if he's climbing this high into the aerobatic box, that means he's got more intensity coming up. He needs more energy for what's coming up next. So let's watch Gary Ward down on the MX-2. As he pulls hard now into the vertical, big G's there. Very punishing on him and the airplane. Then again, oh my God, that's hard on the body and the airplane. Heavy G's across the top. Pulls hard again and heads down to the vertical on this last one. Oh, look at that. Well over 10 G's on his body. That is very punishing. Now here's the cool part, ladies and gentlemen. You've been pretty impressed with his flying. You've been pretty impressed with his physical fitness. How old do you think Gary is? Take a look at that modern airplane, that MX-2. That brilliant green color scheme and purple all over the airplane. Watch him now slow the airplane down to almost a crawl. And then roll it around and continue to push some more negative G and bring it almost to a stop while inverted, pushing over the top with just enough energy to be able to tuck back down so that I can proudly tell you he is 73 years of age. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Is that not unbelievable? And watch him climb, and again, the higher he goes, the more intensity he has in mind. So again, he pushes over, disconnects, and now starts falling. So now the airplane isn't flying anymore, and it's upside down, and that's not easy to recover from. So at some point, and he's gotta make it work, he's gotta start flying again, and that hasn't happened yet. Now he applies the power and heads on down, and that, was so that he could convert very quickly that altitude into energy. So now he's got that energy, he's got that speed, and he climbs back up to cross the top of the loop and flip the airplane outside, end over end, a couple more times. I just love watching Gary fly from the ground. Many times Gary's asked, we're great friends, he says, come fly with me, Rick, and it's like, ah, I've gotta go wash my hair or something. It's just, it's not something I really wanna do, Gary. Thank you all the same. And now, these airplanes, as I mentioned, purpose built for aerobatics, but what a handful on the ground, and look at this, real close, give them a big wave. The incredible Gary Ward from Georgia. That is some incredible flying, I have to say. And he's giving you a wave back and a look from up top. There's his wave. And now this incredibly high performance aircraft, real squirrely on the ground, is gonna be recovered. He'll land and we'll get Gary back on the ground. He says he'll be over, he's got a tent set up behind us at show center near the big potato, the big oversized load over there. He uh, He's set up over there and he'd be more than happy to take a selfie with you and talk to you about what he does. And you can talk to him about how he stays so remarkably fit. You can see him sliding sideways right now. That's so we can still see ahead of the airplane. And it lands fast, as you can see, too. And again, it's squirrely. Right now is the craziest part of his flight, believe it or not. He's got to settle it down, not stand it up on its nose, doesn't want to get on the brakes. A little bit of a crosswind. He's got to make sure it stops flying because these high-performance uh, airplanes want to fly. So now he's got it down. Three wheels on the ground. He'll taxi by and we'll give him a big wave. The incredible game.